I say chase your dreams, man. Do that thing, man, that keeps you up at night. It makes you trip. You can't quit thinking about it. You wake up in the middle of the night, you got a new idea. That's what you got to chase. Because anything else, it's going to disappoint you. You're going to forever be sad, man. If you don't chase that dream, you're going to forever be miserable, man. If you really want to be transformed, you have to live an intentional life. Most people don't lead their life, they accept their life. And when you accept your life, you are living on things that are not worthy of your time and effort and energy. To go uphill, you have to be intentional. Nobody ever went uphill by accident. You've never read a book on accidental achievements. You have to be intentional with what you do and who you are. I have never met anybody who became incredibly successful in any area of their life until they had suffered and sweated and sacrificed and kept their focus and fought through tears and trials and tests. And if you have a dream and you commit to it, it will come to pass. Do things that you have to push mentally through. And if you do those things and you continue to do those things, you'll get mentally stronger. The scary thing is, when you give up, when you don't push, when you stay in bed, when you eat the donut, you're getting mentally weak. So develop the muscle, develop that brain power to push through when things kind of suck. When they suck, go do them anyways. If you want to be the best of the best, if you want to survive no matter what happens, if you want to thrive no matter what happens, you can't second guess yourself. There's always a reason. If your business is not thriving, there's a reason. If your relationship is not thriving, there's a reason. And you know what the crazy thing is? Everybody in this room knows exactly what that reason is. If you want to win, you got to do it. Do it alone. Do it broke. Do it tired. Do it scared. No matter what, just do it. 50% of women is showing up for the fight. The fight is half over when you show up. You'll never win a fight you don't show up for. I'm showing up for this. Here I am ready for duty. I am through hiding in the shadows for fear that I might fail. I'm gonna face this head on and let the chips fall where they may. If you don't know who you are, you will accept less than you deserve. You will negotiate with your peace. You just do it because it's convenient. When you don't know who you are, your haters can disturb you. I actually appreciate my haters. My haters keep me grinding. I tell them all the time, if you want to pay attention to success, watch me. You've got to understand, it's timing in baseball. It's not the skill, it is the timing that causes the batter to be effective at swinging the bat. You can have the right swing, but if you swing at the wrong time, you won't have the impact that you should have had. Some of you are trying to do the right swing, but you're swinging at the wrong time. Your dreams are phenomenal. The life that you have for yourself is phenomenal. In your dreams, your bank account is phenomenal. The things that you do, the way that you live, what you have is phenomenal. You're in this storm and you're down on your knees and you're cold and you're weak and you feel like this is the end. You have a choice to either give up or keep going. Give up or get up. What do you do when your battle chooses you? What do you do when something shows up on your doorstep that you did not directly cause, choose, or definitely anticipate? The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. 
Cowards do that and that ain't you! You're better than that! Sometimes, horrible things happen to good people. Life isn't fair, and it can be heart-wrenching. And if you're having one of those dark days, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay to feel that darkness. I don't care how low you are. I don't care what you have done. I don't care what you have experienced. I don't care how devastated your life might appear to be. The shambles it might be in. Wherever you are in life, ladies and gentlemen, you've got comeback power. Don't you quit. You do make a difference. You do make a difference. As weak as you are, as tired as you are, as many mistakes as you made, you do make a difference. There is something they would lose if you were not there. There was something that they would miss if you were not there. You do make a difference. Anytime you move from being normal to trying to be exceptional, people aren't going to like this. Those normal people, it makes them feel like sh so they're going to judge you. I don't care how good you are, I don't care how talented you are, there are some times when things aren't going to go right. And you have to deal with it. You can experience enough pain in life that it can clobber you to the ground and you believe you can't do it. You believe that this is it for you. No, it's not. And that's why every true leader, they're called weird. They're called eccentric. When you do the things of real leadership, you're gonna be called strange. Get strong enough in your own skin that when people laugh at you or when they throw stones at you, you keep on going. You need to make it a habit to start every fucking day validating yourself because life is a marathon. And this might be a challenging leg where you're like, I'm just going to throw in the towel. I'm not going to do that thing. Hell no. When everybody is against you or don't believe in you no more, it's a lonely feeling. Oh, it, it hurts very badly. I know what that's like. They look at you with that look and say, why don't you try something else? Why don't you give up? Get away from these people that's in your life that ain't doing nothing. Get away from people in your life that's hating. Get away from them. Get away from them. If you take an oak tree seed and you put it in a two-foot pot, that seed will never become the oak tree that oak trees are capable of becoming because it's going to get stifled by the two-foot pot. Now check this out. Ain't nothing wrong with the seed. Seed just fell prey to the environment. Don't you allow your environment to dictate the oak tree that you become. We turn tragedy into triumph. That's what lions do. Lions don't cry. Lions don't give up. Lions don't quit. Lions hunt. That's what we do for a living. When you are a true hunter, you don't go by time. You go by the gazelle. You hunt until you get a gazelle and you don't stop until you get one. Are you going to let this horrible situation dictate the way you feel and the way you handle it? Are you going to fall over, fall down, fall apart? Or are you going to face this issue with courage and with resolution? You know darkness. So embrace, embrace that darkness. Don't look away from it, own it. Step up to the challenge, no matter what you face. Start walking, take that step every day, no matter what you are facing. Get up and start walking and never surrender. You've never looked at yourself in the mirror and said, you let you die. Until you get to that point, you let you die. You've never, you're not brave enough. You want to put it on somebody else. The reason why I'm not successful is because of my boss. Have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror and said, I'm not getting up on time. I'm not going to work on time. I'm not putting in 120% when I'm at work. I let me down. I dare you to take a little pain. I dare you. I dare you not to go home. 
You ain't gonna die at the end of pain and success. You're not gonna die because you're feeling a little pain. You thought you was just gonna have a dream and a goal and you were just gonna wake up and just walk into the sunset. It don't work like that. You have a dream and then life pumps you. Life pumps you and say, do you really want this? And so I'm telling y'all, you have come too far to quit now. You have invested too much to quit now. You have lost too much to quit now. Get a reward for your pain. Don't cry about it. Get a reward for it. It's hard, but it's worth fighting. It's worth believing. It's worth mustering yourself up, standing up inside yourself. It's worth fighting relentlessly, never giving up. Life happens. The unexpected, the uncalled for, the unintentional. We've been damaged emotionally, damaged spiritually. You can break physically, you can break mentally, you can break your heart, you can break your spirit, and all of those are going to leave a mark. But the mark that they leave can be the mark of victory or can be the mark of defeat. I need you to look at that sickness that's going on in your life right now, whatever it is. I want you to say, I can beat it. I can beat it. I will beat it. I must. I got a family to live for. I ain't through yet. My life ain't over yet. There's some things in life you don't need no degree for. You don't need no money for it. You don't need no support for it. There's something in life you just gonna get through when you tell yourself, I'm gonna get through this. The fight is just beginning. You have the opportunity to show the world what you are really made of. I love the sun, but things don't grow because of the sun. You have to have some rain. And you've got to stop looking at rain in your life as something bad. My greatest moments didn't come from my greatest moments. My greatest moments came from my greatest defeats. Because it was during my defeat that I had to find a way to get back up. And I'm not retreating. I'm not running. I don't care what they say on paper. I don't care if you say we outnumber. We live by this and we die by this. We don't retreat. We don't run. We gonna stand, we gonna live, we gonna die by what we stand for and everybody gonna know what we represent and what we're a part of. If you would be willing to fight your way through this battle, fight your way through cancer, fight your way through that academic struggle, fight your way through divorce, fight your way through it. If you are willing to fight your way through that singing career, fight your way through boxing, fight your way through football, I'm telling you at the end of the fight is going to come victory. You see, in order to develop real quality, it takes time and it takes pain and it takes endurance and it takes grief and it takes trouble and it takes turmoil and it takes destruction and demolition. God works in the dirt. The opportunity to grow happens in your life, in your home, in your heart, in your spirit. And you are being planted, but you feel like you're being buried. When you plant a seed, it feels buried, but it was planted to rise again. And most of us think we are being buried when in fact we are only being planted. And when you are planted, that means you're going to get up again. And when you are planted, that means you're going to come forth again. And when you are planted, that means that this is not how the story ends. This is not the end. Don't run from it. Don't hide from it. Don't duck from it. Don't dodge from it. Don't run trying to get away from it because you are not being buried. You are being planted. And as you crawl up and out of that dismal and wretched place as you rise above what you were and as you take the form of who you are supposed to be you will see that in the very act of standing up in the very act of fighting on you will become and you will remain unbroken there's problems that we go through that cause stress worry, anxiety, and fear, but you might be in the battle of your life. I want to encourage you. It's not about what's happening around you. It's always about what's happening inside of you. So stand up straight. 
stand up straight and march forward. And give someone else some encouragement. Let them see you standing strong. Set an example. And by our very posture, by our very being, we will let the world know that we are here to win. Life is not easy at all. There's going to be challenges. You're going to get beat down. That's the way life is. Life is hard sometimes. Easy, it's not an option. But it's worth fighting. It's worth believing. It's worth giving yourself a chance. It's worth mustering yourself up, standing up inside yourself. It's worth fighting relentlessly, never giving up. It's worth it. You can do it. You can do it. The sun doesn't shine every day. The storms will come. There are times when the nights will be long and dark and you will be alone. There will be times when the darkness seems to consume everything. But don't let it consume you. Even in the darkest times, even in the strongest storms, even when the sun is blotted out and the world is falling apart, the darkness cannot extinguish your light. You. Your will. Your determination. When you feel like giving up, don't. When you're thinking about giving up, don't. When it look like you ain't gonna make it, keep going. When they tell you you can't, who are they? When they tell you you're not gonna make it, don't believe them, man. Don't believe them. You got to be relentless. Think of that, guys. You guys are saying you're doing everything right. You're giving your all. Come on, come on. Your all is a lot more than you know. You got more inside of you to give. Stop selling yourself so short. And you're gonna fail. And you're gonna fail. And you're gonna fail. And you're gonna fail. And then you're gonna win. And that's life. Life without those challenges, it's just existence. Don't just exist. Go live. People want the flame, but they don't want to touch the fire. Are you willing to put aside the things that aren't as important to you at this particular moment? Most people don't want to go to that extra mile. Most people don't want to find that extra because it sucks. It's miserable. It's lonely. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. I'll say it again. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. You have to open your mind. You gotta free your mind so that you can learn and make real progress. Everything was done to try to learn how to become a better basketball player. Everything, everything. And so when you have that point of view, then literally the world becomes your library to help you to become better at your craft. You're making a big mistake to always look for comfort because comfort is the evil of everything. Looking for the easy way out is not good. You see, we got to go and confront kind of resistance. And it's like Nietzsche said, you know, that what does not kill you will make you stronger. Always quitting before you're done, always procrastinating, always not doing the right thing. And then one day you're an old man. Yep. And you look back, God, I could have been great. Where does the switch come from? The overdrive. It is the thing that allows you to go the extra distance. To dig a little deeper. To push a little harder. It takes both emotion and logic to reach your maximum potential. To really give everything you have to go beyond your limits. 
because emotion and logic will both reach their limitations. And when one fails, you need to rely on the other. When it just doesn't make any logical sense to go on, that's when you use your emotion, your anger, your frustration, your fear to push further, to push you to say one thing, I don't stop. The reason you're here is because there's something in you that says, I can do more. This just can't be it. There's something in you. There's a calling on your life. There's something in you that tells you this is not it for you. You have not peaked here. There's more in you that you are expressing. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard. If you challenge yourself, if you persist and persevere, it is the process of the grind that shapes you and forms you. It's not the game. You think you become a champion on the field? You don't. You become a champion when ain't nobody watching you. You're doing your own drills and your own way. You're doing what coach tell you to do and you're doing your own stuff. You become a champion in the dark when ain't nobody looking. You don't become no champion when you put no dog or helmet on. You become a champion the way you eat. You become a champion the way you think. You become a champion in your grind. When nobody knows what you're doing, when you put in those extra reps. What do you do when somebody's not there watching you? What do you do when you have to either do what it is you know you're supposed to do, or you get to take the playoff because no one's going to know the difference? Because it's really easy for anybody to come to work on the days they feel like killing it and killing it. But what happens on the days that you don't feel like killing it? What happens on the days that you don't feel like getting out of bed? Because those are the days that are going to define where you end up in your life. You don't stop when you're tired. You stop when you're done. You stop when you complete it, when you execute it. Greatness is in you, but the problem is somebody's got to push you. The problem is somebody's got to give you a reward. Somebody's got a project. The problem is you're not self-motivated. You have to stay in beast mode. And what happens is we actually talk ourselves out of the things that we truly want in life because we're so overly concerned with what people might say, not with what they actually say, with what they might say that we convince ourselves that we have all this fucking hate. And you don't. People aren't talking about you. And if they are, it's because you're doing something great. That's the fucking truth. And if you're doing something great, you really don't care if people are talking about you. Listen to me very closely. Y'all running from obstacles when in fact it's the obstacle that's going to take you to the next level. Do you understand it is the difficulty that's going to prepare you and take you to that next level? A person's character is not judged when they ride the wave of success. When everyone chants their name and you want to be their friend, no. Your character is put to the test when your back is against the wall. You have to know that this thing is going to work. Come hell or high water, whatever it is that I set out to do, it may not happen in six months, it may not happen in a year, but at some point, my dream is going to become a reality. As great as you are, as skilled as you are, as talented as you are, I just want one thing from you. Never allow life to make you forget why you do what you do. People don't burn out, people don't quit, people don't underachieve, people don't settle because of what they do. People burn out, people quit, people underachieve, and people settle because life makes them forget why they do it. Know why you are doing what you are doing, and then get out there every day. The daily fight is a challenge. You will not always want to do what you need to do. You will not always feel like doing something you need to do. I have spent my whole life scared, frightened of things that could happen, might happen, might not happen. 50 years I spent like that, finding myself awake at three in the morning. Fear, that's the real enemy. So. Get up, get out in the real world, and you kick that bastard as hard as you can right in the teeth.